Hello, my precious cinema rolls. My name is Fofo, and here back again playing Call of Cthulhu Dark Quickly. Corners of the Earth. to get away from the jail. Now, I realise why I was having so much trouble in the previous section with the combat was because I was doing not here? doing what we're actually supposed to do because Brian had glitched, so I had to reload and replay some of it. And the real reason is, you're not actually supposed to go and kill everything over there because they are infinitely respawning, and one of them is immortal. She's supposed to get Brian to come over here, and the game even tells you this. So uh, it was because he was glitched, and I didn't realise what I was doing. Over here, I think. And look, this door's got no door knob. Doors are locked. You won't be able to get in that way. Well, then we save our game. It's no use, Jack. Come on, Jack. We need to try another way. Get off the streets. We're getting off them. We're getting off them. Where do we go next, then, huh? Because maybe that triggered what was the next thing we're supposed to do. Which I'm assuming is go that way now. I've also edited the dam amount of damage the guns do to make them stronger. And got infinite ammo. Stop. Because I think now this guy is no longer immortal. Yes. Maybe. No, there's still an invisible wall there. Okay, none of this works. Brian? Brian? Where are you, Brian? Brian? You're still here. I thought you were here. Prepare to die. Are you sure it's safe now? The doors are locked. You won't be able to get in that way. How? What way are we supposed to get in then, huh? I've done this before. This is why I'm so confused. <laughs> the streets have no cover, Jack. We'll get caught. At least he's not glitched. At least he's actually coming with me. He runs away at the first sign of danger now. Because he has to stay alive. He's plot relevant. How else do we get in then? Hey! I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. <laughs> Come on, Jack. We need to get off the streets. Hmm. There's no doorknob. That was the problem, so... Come here, Henry. Who are you talking to? <laughs> this guy looks wide enough oh, to I... push. <sighs> that was too close. We've got to be more careful. I don't think I should use that right, right now. Alright, we can't open the safe even if we did have the combination. Oh, maybe we need to take him down here. There's someone down there. Brian? The streets have no cover, Brian. Jack. What, what about caught? this? Tell me about this thing. The grate's too heavy to lift with my bare hands. Ah! Oh, I'm a dumbass. <clears throat> Come on, Brian. Nice work, Jack. I knew I'd be missing something obvious. <sighs> Sewers again! Delightful! Oh, and a safe point. Ah. Uh, uh, I seem to be stuck. <clears throat> the stench here is sickening. It smacks of more than just sewage. You're not even down here yet. <laughs> okay. More sewers. Yay. Come on, Brian. There's something wrong down here. Ah. Something 
Oh, the rotting corpse of a rat. The I suppose it might come in useful. That's the rat we I give to the guy. I think one dead rat is <laughs> enough for anyone. That was why I was talking about a rat earlier. It was a different sewer section because there's so many. <laughs> Oopsie. Wait, uh, it would help. Oh, let's not linger here, Jack. Yeah. Let's get out of here quickly. Stop whining. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Excuse me. Oh, why is my heart going all wibbly wobbly? Why are we having hallucinations? Is this a, this is a different ladder, isn't it? There's no safe point here. There's something wrong down here. Something very. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number How'd one. How'd you get in, Mackie? Shut your trap, Mackie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack. There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date. And someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. That's how we got inside, right? So here's our lovely car. Uh, oh, medical kit. Ammunition. Not that I need it, because I got infinite ammo on. There's another medical kit. Left something around there. Oop. To go around the proper way. There we go. Oh, no, I think that is ammunition of some kind. Never mind. Got this lovely truck car thingy. There's a doorknob on this the side. The bolted shut. Okay, there's no doorknob on that side. Oh, okay. What else is up here? It's blocked. I can't go that okay. way. Right, just got back to save point. Uh, and now we need to go get Ruth's roach. It will still be, um, intimate people after me, but... I fixed the problem I was having. Brian's no longer Brian's no longer glitching. I'm not trying to do no something that's impossible. And my uh, guns do decent damage. Oh, and we got a rat to give to this guy. Uh. Hello. What's this? What torments me now? You don't want your rat? <laughs> I thought you want your rat. Okay, maybe I'll give it to him inside. There you go. Have a rat. Look, Henry. Mm. The rats are dead. There are no rats in the walls. He ate that rat, didn't he? Oh dear. Jesus. <laughs> Stop it, you crazy bastard. Oh, uh, well, that was one way to stop him from... It's unlocked. <laughs> the wretched creature had no other possessions. The lunatic dropped a piece of paper. Let's see what he dropped. Oaths of Dagon. Proviso to all oaths. I, a Dagon, I submit to the authority of the esoteric order of Dagon. If I should betray any sacred oaths, I am theirs to try. 
to punish according to the ancient laws and the extent of my transgression, I, Adagon. Thirst of I, Adagon, I swear that I shall keep faith with the deep ones and all things. I shall not resist their will, nor shall I betray their secrets. A second oath. I, Adagon, I swear that I shall serve the deep ones in all things, as they shall command me to the furthest extent of my ability. Third oath. I, Adagon, I, Hydra. I take this child of Dia, Dagon and Hydra as my wife or husband, take into my home to beget and raise children, so that the race and the thief may continue to prosper. And that explains what was going on when Thomas waits his wife. Right. Um, I need to look at the ship box. Eighteen forty-six is probably the combination of the safe. I'm just gonna shut the door. And shut that door. Nope, oh, wrong way. Oh, maybe not. I must have got something wrong. Clockwise. Eight. Must be the other way, right? That's not right. <laughs> there we go. Approach. Oh, we get a flashy. Forward. Ooh, fish hand. Ooh, ooh. Somebody put that brooch in there. Oops. This must be Ruth's brooch. Ah. <laughs> Is there anything else in here? Nothing else okay. in the safe. No. Seems of value. Let's get the heck out. Hi. <laughs> These guys go from being completely unkillable when the game wants you to do something specific. To murder to very very squishy. I am cheating slightly though. I've got um, double damage on. This is moth, 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 moth. Right. See it again. Let me in, Jab. No, Brian. not Jack. Brian. Me. Brian. Up. I'm still not done with the car yet, Jack. Oh, but I got a brooch. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. And now I think we get to do a drive. A drive by back. shooting. I know the way. Ugh. Try and get in the back there. There we go. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it. I won't need it because I got infinite ammo on. Okay. So we're gonna escape from Inzamuth. Woo! <laughs> Let's escape from Inzamuth. Stop being sassy. Well, they just drove drove directly through the door. That's not going to alert anybody. No, well, this is not the time to have wibbly wobbly. That's how we get past that police car, right? That's why we couldn't get past. Oh, no, not your sacrifice. You don't count Ryan as the outsider. He's just a sacrifice. Oh. No, 
range on this thing. Are we driving on the railroad tracks? That's not safe. Not even in the 1920s was that a good idea. So apparently Intimate is supposed to be in Massachusetts. Although in its first stories it was apparently in England rather than New England. But hey, whatever serves the purpose of the story. There we go. The old explosive canisters routine, huh? I think we got everybody. Oh no, this guy's running. Need to get back in the bit. Mouse sensitivity in this game is terrible. <sighs> Must be seasick to watch. Where are we now? But still in Ismus. On the coast. There's a lighthouse. And the light beam was clearly not in the lighthouse there. Something with a slight error with that. Yo, Jack. The old fishing cannery is just around the corner. Hurry up! It's swarming with the order. Just find room. I'll meet you at the other side. This is gonna be the end of this episode. Hi, this is Fo. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, please subscribe.